Hello everyone. This is Rashid Kibria from Fix Research, University of Florida. Today I will talk about the FSM extraction reports generated by FSMS Ultra on the analysis process of Open Risk 1200 CPU core. This CPU core is very complex and it is directly taken from the opencourse.org. I have already synthesized the core using Synopsys' design compiler. So inside inputs folder, you will see uh, the flattened gate level netlist of this core along with the FSM extraction reports generated by RTL FSMX. I will first open up the file containing the uh, flattened gate level netlist of this open risk 1200 CPU core. So if you look here, this file is very big. Uh, the uh, its size is around uh, 35 MB because uh, this is a very large netlist file that I have already described in our paper. So if you look here, this uh, CPU core, uh, it took around two and a half hour to get synthesized because it's, a, as I have mentioned, this is highly complex. It has over 200,000 vertices and around 500,000 edges. The, uh, this uh, netlist file actually contains um, over 500,000 lines of code. So yeah, definitely it is very complex, but uh, it has five control efficiencies present in the netlist. And in RTL abstraction, there are four efficiencies because uh, here one single efficiency was instantiated two times. That's why now we get uh, five control FCMs extracted from the netlist. So this one is the input file that was taken by FSMS Ultra. FSMS Ultra analyzed the entire netlist uh, within seven hours to produce the FSM extraction reports. You can find the results inside this netlist directory. So if I go here, we will see total five files, FSM underscore one up to FSM underscore five. All of these are basically the FSM minimum extraction region for all the control FSMs. And these ones are the modified state transition logic uh, of, of the associated FSMs. So if I uh, open up a file, that means the first file, FSM underscore one dot V. So if we look here, this control FSM netlist, though it is the FSM minimum extraction region, it is highly complex. Now the region is there, there is a huge number of uh, primary inputs here. If you look here, uh, it is uh, really extremely high. And also the netlist file is also so much big you know, because we have a lot of wire connections and also we have a lot of gates. Normally uh, this sort of uh, highly complex FSM minimum extraction regions are very rare, but uh, FSMS Ultra it is still able to recognize them and extract all the uh, gates perfectly. If I now open up another file, so this one is relatively simpler. The number of inputs is also low compared to the previous one. And it also has a less number of gates in the FSM minimum extraction region. The third of file, it, it is again very similar to the first one. It, it also has a very high uh, number of uh, primary inputs. That's why you cannot apply uh, any sort of exhaustive gate level simulation here because it will not be able to scale. Only solution is uh, to apply the ATPG based analysis that FSMS Ultra has already performed to extract the state transition graph of, of these highly complex uh, control FSMs. Now the, this file is also very big and also has a large number of uh, gates uh, in the FSM minimum extraction region along with the straight uh, flip-flops. The fourth file uh, is uh, relatively simpler and the last one uh, is also, uh, it is a kind of uh, medium size. If we now uh, try to look into the extracted ST transition graph, so all of these uh, extracted STGs are shown here. I have also uh, presented this in our paper. So if I open up a graphic, uh, this uh, ST transition graph in text file, you will see here a uh, total 12 ST transition present. And if I go uh, to the third uh, FSM, so it has uh, only eight ST transitions available here. Uh, this uh, reports uh, this Barbo CD uh, that basically provides you the ST transition graph information with a, a more uh, inputs. Uh, that means uh, the more information and all of the results here. 
for example, if I consider 0, 1 to 1, 0 transition, there are this uh, number of state transitions that you can apply. Any one of them will work to cause a certain state transition. So if you look here, you know, the number of bits uh, which uh, which is uh, present in a certain uh, challenge or wh whatever you can say that is the input, it is extremely high. Uh, it is because uh, this control efficient has a high, uh, large number of primary inputs. That is the region. And if I uh, go at the end of this file, it will also show us how many patterns you can apply. So there are basically 46 patterns uh, you can apply for this state transition and any one of them will work to cause the, the state transition. So FSMS Ultra not only tells you, you know, why, not only sh shows you the state transitions, but also the region for that transition. That means the patterns, that can cause such a state transition. So here uh, we see this uh, Virgocity, uh, Virgos report actually provides you a much more better insight uh, in the uh, gate extracted gate level SDG. This is a highly complex design and it was um, basically successfully analyzed by FSMS Ultra. So it means that FSMS Ultra uh, is scalable to handle complex and massive gate level netlists. Thanks for hearing.